for all of you uh, VR developers out there, VR game developers, uh, I want to show you something special. Today I played uh, a game called uh, Tea for God. Uh, it's still in development, available via SideQuest. As you can see here, uh, I actually uh, drew a guardian area in my space. Uh, and the game actually uh, put a rectangular area that actually fits the, uh, the area that I actually drew with my controller. And I'm playing this on the Oculus Quest 2, by the way. Now, as you can see here, the area, of course, is small. It's about 1.5 meters by 1 meter. Uh, you can actually draw something larger and the game will proceed to generate a level that is based on the size. However, many players, of course, have a small area, right? You don't have like a huge area. So how we can make the most of a small space and still enable free movement, or maybe say it like that, unlimited free movement in this tiny space that feel real and exciting and increase immersion in a virtual reality game. So this is exactly what the developer uh, Jaroslo uh, Kupinski, I hope I pronounce him uh, right, sorry if I don't, um, from Void Room actually created. Now you can actually see the area that I drew, uh, it's got kind of the boundaries in blue, right? So this is the guardian that makes sure that I won't bump into things because I have my desk, I have the bed, I have the wall. So basically I can't really, of course in VR, just rush and just walk freely, right? I'm going to bump into something. So basically I'm restricted to the space. Uh, now, if I really want free movement, probably I'm going to use a VR treatment, right? But uh, we want something that is more accessible and many people have it. So game developers can reach a larger audience, of course. And, you know, just make something that elevates the current uh, gameplay experiences, brings something new and excited. So this game does exactly that. And I'm going to explain. So basically right now I'm spawning in a small room. And when I first played it, I told myself what I'm going to do here. There's nothing to do. I'm really tight place and nothing and just a few knobs to interact with. And I just don't understand. What should I do here? I thought maybe the game is bugged still under development. There's nothing. Then I saw this path thing. And as you can see here, the game was designed so you can actually free move inside the space. And you'll be just circulating around. And you still feel that you're actually exploring and walking a lot uh, in the real, uh, sorry, in the virtual space. This is amazing because the game proceeds to generate a level that actually makes you walk around, move in elevators, get up and down, move to the left, to the side. It's a kind of a maze-like level design, but still you're always walking. You turn left, you turn right. And it feels you're always on the move, but basically you're really moving in a very, very tiny space. Now, now you see actually the boundaries, but again, if you disable boundaries, which you shouldn't, of course, because you make sure you won't bump into anything, but make it less sensitive. Uh, you won't actually feel that you're having these boundaries. I actually felt like, oh my God, I'm just gonna walk in the room. I'm gonna walk like and bump into something. It just felt so weird because I'm not used to it. I'm used to teleportation and like fake free movement where I actually just move my 3D character using the thumbstick, right? I'm not used to that. And it took me some time to get used to that. I'm actually safe playing like that because I know that I'm actually moving in the real world space. I know that I'm moving a lot. And when I'm moving a lot, I think like, oh my God, something gonna bump into something. But it's not the case because I always stay in the same limited play space. Now, of course, this game is limitation. You won't start running around. But still, it's increased uh, immersion by a lot. Everything is done. If you want to pick up something, you crouch and pick it up. If you want to look behind corner, you just lean around with your body and look behind corners. So what you do naturally is part of the game mechanic. Because again, you're just doing things that you naturally do and you don't need any uh, something uh, forced on you in the game in order to do that. You do this naturally with your own body. Even height, you know, when I went and see height, I felt kind of scared, you know, I, I have a fear of heights, by the way, uh, and this game actually felt it, and usually in VR games, you know, that have teleportation, and movement, I really don't feel it, but here, because I was always moving with my body, with my legs, moving in the real world space, uh, and the virtual space, of course, accordingly, it just felt more real and more scary. And I really like the idea of actually using elevators to give you even more sense of actually moving uh, you know, in a big place, right? You use, because again, you're already, again, moving and rotating around the same area. So having an elevator takes you up, makes you really feel kind of, you know, more volume to the place. 
And remember, there's no teleportation and no, no uh, the free movement as you know it in VR, where you just, you know, your character just move and you actually stay in place. You know, there are many games where you just stand still and your character just moves freely in the 3D world. But this is not the case. I'm just walking around with my feet right now in this environment. And I really felt that I traversed quite a lot of distance. Although I didn't, I'm just staying again in this small area. You can see me leaning around and shooting uh, stuff, uh, the bolts. This is a first-person shooter, a roguelike first-person shooter, by the way. I haven't touched that because I want to talk about the mechanics. Uh, again, it's still in development. Basically, there are bots and a really cool place to explore. Uh, and just imagine being like a game like this. For example, a spaceship, like an Aliens game, right? And those creatures, you know, going around and you need a, the 3D sound to pay attention and you're kind of playing with your friends. Or maybe an escape room game that use this type of uh, uh, mechanic. You can have a multiplayer shooter like this in a maze. That would be something amazing. Maybe I didn't see game. Well, you can see that there are plenty of uh, game genres and other type of you know experiences that you can create using this mechanic. It doesn't mean that it has to be exactly like what you see here, but you know, kind of play around what you see here because you still have limitations, as I told you. Yeah, so this is it. This is what I wanted to show you, hopefully to inspire you. Uh, those VR developers among you uh, really kind of uh, uh, want to create something different and unique because this is something different and unique that perfectly fits the VR medium. That's why it works so well. And actually, uh, came across it because I saw a game that's quite popular on SideQuest. And by the way, you can download it for free, the demo via SideQuest. And by the way, play this without a cable. You'll be spinning around uh, a lot. So make sure, play this without a cable unless you want to just uh, tumble around and fall. Uh, so I came across this, it was quite popular, I thought maybe there's something in it. I, mean, I wasn't impressed with what I've seen, but I told myself, well, I have to try it, because if it's popular, there's something. And, well, many people agreed, uh, especially I've read all the reviews, yeah, that uh, this game, this mechanic is really something special. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think about this one. I'm just blown away, to be honest. I'm really blown away. This is one of the more, uh, the better experiences that I tried uh, uh, on SideQuest. And this is exactly why I search for games on SideQuest. I want to come across something really special. And this is one of them. And I really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, tell me what you think about that. And if you tried it before. I mean, based on my experience, this is the first time actually trying it. This is really unique. And many other uh, players who actually try it say the same. So tell me if you... Uh, try the game similar to this before and uh, if you like what you see and if it inspired you. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.